Hi, welcome back to Eating Well with Sonia L. Today we're going to be doing uh, Philly Dill Rosettes. Now the reason I call them rosettes is because I'm taking the ordinary potato muffin and kicking it up a notch with Philly Dill cream cheese and piping them into a nice rosette shape at the end just to give it a certain je ne sais quoi that guests will be like, hmm, I wonder what these are. They don't look like potato muffins and they taste amazing. So that's what we're doing today. Now it doesn't take a lot of time. It looks like it takes a lot of time, but it doesn't. I don't have a lot myself. I don't have a lot of time. I have two little girls, one three who runs around everywhere, and one six month old who is just the sweetest little baby and she gives me a little bit more time uh, to make these kind of um, side dishes. Okay, so let's start. First you're going to whisk two thirds cup of just all purpose flour. Two teaspoons of baking powder. Okay. One tablespoon of sugar. One teaspoon of salt. And about a quarter teaspoon of pepper. So, like a little pinch of pepper. There you go. So, we whisk that all together. Now you're going to add a cup of mashed potatoes. Now this is a great way to use leftover mashed potatoes. I always make too much for dinner and then you can use them the next day or the day after and then it's just something new to add to a side dish. So just mix that together. You add a third cup of milk and two eggs. Now if you don't have any leftovers, no mashed potatoes, no baked potatoes, just peel them, pop them into the microwave for about 5-10 minutes until it's soft and just mash them up. There you go. Okay. So we have our mix coming nicely. Now you don't want to over mix them because then they'll just be really dull. We have a quarter of a red onion chopped very finely. And our kit de résistance as well, our cream cheese. Now I've left this at room temperature and you just load it in. I'm using the whole thing just because I love it so much. And you just mix it until it's nice and smooth. And the color of the red onion really pops out against the green of the dill in the cream cheese. Now you can always e add extra herbs if you like. Extra dill, or if you're using uh, thyme or with a herb and garlic cream cheese, that would uh, work really well. Okay, it's done. Now, the reason I'm calling them rosettes instead of muffins um, is we're gonna use a piping bag to pipe them into nice little rosettes. Now, you should always have a piping bag in your house. I use mine all the time. Whoops. And in that way, it just makes it a little bit fancier than a regular scoop into a muffin tin. Okay, so get that all in there. Great. Done. And I have my muffin pan all ready to go with the line. Uh, you don't need to put the liners, sometimes I just use the butter around, that works as well. But I find the liners are good for parties or um, if you're having a crowd then people can just pick them up and put them on their plate. Okay. Ooh, in the beginning it's always hard just to get the mix out. There's a big giant potato here. This is why you mash your potatoes really well and you cut your um, your um, onions very finely as well so they don't get stuck. Ah. Hold on. There we go. All right. So now we have our mix in our piping bag and we like to just make a nice rosette 
So it'll take some practice for these rosettes to come out nicely. To make a rosette, so turn. It's kind of like when you ice a cupcake. So turn and up and up. Actually, this takes no time at all. And if you really want to be fancy, get a tip that has like a star shaped. Uh, it has to be very big though, because everything gets stuck. Now I have enough for nine, uh, nine rosettes. Just there you go. My oven is preheated at 400, and I'm just gonna pop these in for about 20 minutes. Oh, they're gonna smell and taste delicious when they're done. Now, it doesn't take a lot of time, it just looks like it takes a lot of time. So it's a little trick I like to do at dinner parties where people are like, Sonia, how do you have time to do things like this with a three-year-old running around? First, I do it at night. <laughs> Prep everything at night when the kids are sleeping, and then the next day, uh, I have time to run around with my kids, but, you know, dinner's prepared, the side dishes are fine. Uh, you can serve this with a, a side of fish, grilled fish, and a nice salad. It's a complete meal. And the possibilities are endless with this side dish. So 20 minutes has gone by and the house is smelling so good right now. You can smell the dill and the onion and it just smells delicious. And let's peek in the oven to see. Ooh, they're nice golden brown. So different ovens take different time to bake. This took about 20-25 minutes. You just want a nice golden color um, on top of your muffins. Oh, they are looking so good. And the piping gives a nice little curl at the end. So if you use a star tip, these will look really, really nice and fancy. Now, you just want to take them out and let them cool on a wire rack for, for about 10 minutes. Uh, before you serve them. You don't want them piping hot, but you don't want them cold as well. Now, the red of the onion plus the little speckles of dill look so nice. Mm, they smell delicious. I'm going to take one, a little bite right now. Mmm. It's really good. The cream cheese really makes it moist, which is nice because when you do a regular potato muffin, sometimes they're a little dry. Um, so if you add the cream cheese in here, it makes it moist and fluffy and really nice flavor and cheesy. You can always grate a little bit of like parmesan or cheddar on top of these and put them broil for like two minutes just to give them um, a little bit of uh, cheesy goodness at the end. You can always make these ahead of time, put them in the freezer, thaw them and pop them back into the oven at 350 for about 10-15 minutes. I will see you next week for an entree entry. Um, I know the competition is going to be fierce for these entrees because Billy's so versatile, you can use it in anything. So I'm dying to see what people have uh, come up with. I'll see you next week. Bye!